Hey there, geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you a neat little app called DeBotNet. It comes from Mirror and Soft. they got a couple other really cool apps, so feel free. Check the link in the download description for the download and check their page. And when you get to their page, make sure you click on Apps. Some of their cool stuff. This Clean Manager is really, really cool. RoboGet. Just trust me, it's some cool stuff. Anyway, you're going to click Download now once you have it. You'll have DeBotNet.zip. Click on Extract All. Extract it wherever you want. I'm going to leave everything right here on the desktop for us. Nice and easy. And you can either launch the botnet.exe or go to wherever you extracted the files, open it, and run the botnet. Once you do, click OK. And we're off. Now I'm going to show you the real basics of this program, and then you're basically off to the races, discounting a few small things. Here are your categories. And just to show you how it works, we're going to start with bloatware. And we're going to start with Candy Crush. You should have a backup of your computer is always a good idea, but most of these are safe. But, for example, Candy Crush Soda is one of the examples where if you remove it, you're going to have to go download it from the Windows Store. You can't just undo the script where you can with many of the things in here. So, test script, run script, undo script. Understand these three things. Test is going to show you what it's going to do. In this case, it's going to run a PowerShell slash command prompt command. These are well, well known commands on the internet. And he's going to click on run script and watch that. And it's gone. Now, this is one of the few examples. This is especially with apps. If you remove an app, you can't always reinstall it. You're going to have to go probably to the Microsoft Store for something like that. So be a little careful taking apps out. Make sure you want them gone and or that you know how to get it back very important. We probably find guides on Major Geeks for that as well. So let's take a look here at some of the things that I'm explaining to you as far as downloading goes. Let me find one here. I think, oh, the old apps. So here is Classic Paint. So once again, we're going to click on that. And let's do Test Script to see what it's going to do. As you can see, it's going to go to GitHub, and it's actually going to download the old paint. So let's go ahead and run the script. And as you can see, Boom, boom, done. Piece of cake, right? So now what we want to do is find your folder. And there's the old paint Windows 10 with the setup. So some of the stuff is slightly different. But most of the stuff you're going to play with in here, for example, disable your clipboard history. You can click your test script. It's going to just go into the registry and clean it out for you. If you know how the registry works, you can kind of get a understanding of how this works pretty safe stuff once again just keep looking around so when you get the program just take your time there's a lot of stuff in here it was aimed for with privacy but obviously a lot of this stuff people over time are like well I want this or I want that game bar features opt out of Nvidia telemetry I'm not sure if that one works anymore it might ISO downloader miscellaneous you want to download one of your favorite apps he's got the list of probably the top one-tenth of one percent of stuff that most geeks rely on so if you're kind of wondering geez what kind of browser do I want what kind of anti-spyware tool do I want etc you'll probably find it in here privacy another good one I'm not gonna waste too much more of your time with this because we're basically just walking you through and just showing you how some of this stuff works disabling app access very cool privacy stuff now a lot of this stuff believe it or not not all of it some of it Windows is getting better and better with their privacy under start settings privacy but once again as you can see you're going to spend the same amount of time going through section after section after section and frankly at permissions I frankly I think he's done a slightly better job of organizing and then adding stuff so very very cool uh, disable the password reveal button uninstalling software third-party stuff Windows updates, disabling Windows Defender. Once again, you can double check the script. As you can see, it's a registry key. I've recognized this from one of my guides. So there you have it. Not too tough to use. And I think if you just spend, you'd probably spend, the video now is at four minutes and 40 seconds. I think you could probably get through most of what you want to do to quickly tweak your machine and get back a little bit of your privacy probably within a reasonable amount of time five or ten minutes not bad at all free portable and again as you can see I'm gonna close it here's the download 
I'm happy with the program. I'm done. You can always know you can come back to Major Geeks or Mirror and Soft to get it. Delete. Everything you've applied is still there. Piece of cake. There you have it, Geeks. Down in the right corner, of course, is the subscribe button. Check out our videos. We've got a lot of uh, tutorials there for you to watch. And thanks for always as watching. See ya.